Yeah, so Kevin, you, you've kind of seen all, all aspects of things kind of pivot and, and you've been on the forefront of that. Do you, do you have any thoughts on, on where this is going to all head? Well, I don't know where it's where it's going to head in terms of how maybe the, the curriculum offerings will be different. But I do think that I don't know if everybody here feels the same way I did, but just the first day uh, we were able to come back together and, and just play the first note together as a group how much I cherished uh, that moment with them. And then I think one of the things that happens, uh, at least to me, I know, is we sometimes have so many programs that we're doing, you know, one event after the next event after the next event. And many of them for us are not competitions, actually. There's just, we have a lot of, we have, a, we have just a busy performance schedule for all the ensembles. Um, and so we're learning a lot of rep, you know, we're doing a lot of things. And I think uh, with this particular situation we're in now, we don't have quite as many of those. And I found myself uh, just stopped, just the other day we were playing something and the kids were really doing a great job. And I just stopped and I said, guys, this is what it's about. When we were, when we were quarantined about a month into it, this is what I dreamt about. This is what I wanted to just to come together with you and make beautiful music with people for the, for the right, all the right reasons. And what an incredible thing that you're able to do right now and what a privilege it is because we do know that there are some some of our friends and colleagues around the country who still aren't able to be together. Uh, and I talked to several people uh, like weekly that uh, still have not seen their students since March. So I know for us, and I talk to about our students all the time, uh, how blessed we are to be able to have fellowship and to come together, even if it's only two days a week where we have everybody uh, together, you know, in the same space. But we really, I, I know, I know I've really tried to, to focus more on what a privilege it is, uh, you know, that, that just being performers in the performing arts and the opportunities that we have together and less about uh, maybe in an event or playing for people, but really doing it for each other and being there for one another. And I, I think that um, at least in the short term, when we're coming through this, I think most of us will cherish this opportunity maybe more than we did before. Not that we took it for granted, you know, but we were always constantly looking forward to the next thing. Uh, and I know for me, it's always, you know, that next, that next where I, I found myself in this situation where I just pause and really try, try to discuss and cherish the moment and really try to point out to them uh, how wonderful they are. 